First thing I'd like to say is thank you for viewing this video. And if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe. I'm pretty sure that I have more things that you'll be interested in. And it doesn't hurt to like the video. And it does help the channel out. It helps us grow. Now let's move on to our scheduled program. So what's up? This is the BBN, Jack Frost speaking. All right, so the other day in Brooklyn, right? All right, I'll just let you know. So a married father of a two-year-old was in critical condition Sunday after a teenage boy driving a stolen car dragged him for more than two blocks. The officer's name is Del Shvev. I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. D-A-L-S-H-V-E-V-E. -E -E. He was 35. He fired his gun twice as he was pulled along the pavement on East Flatbush. On East Flatbush. Why the fuck can I say that word? East Flatbush. What the fuck? Striking the 15-year-old driver, Justin Morell. Justin, J-U-S-T-I-N. M-U-R-R-E-L-L -L, in the face, sources said. The teen was in serious condition and expected to survive. Charges were pending early morning. Monday morning. Alright, so like this is some strange shit. First of all, 15-year-old kid steal the car. The cop trying to, I guess, stop him from stealing the car. Maybe it was the cop car. I don't know. They didn't give us but so much information. The kid dragged the cop. The cop getting dragged, start firing off, hit dude in the face. So anyway, the teen ended up having to walk to the uh walk to the to the hospital. And so, you know, he he knew he was busted as soon as he got hit. On top of that, he was in the car. There was three other occupants. It was an 18-year-old and two women, ages 18 and 19. So, you know, this could have been a situation where the 15-year-old was just trying to show he was, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a shame. Like, we gotta. We got to do better by our children so that they not going out in the street trying to impress other people. Because that sounds like what this is. The 15-year-old was the driver, right? Supposedly, the 15-year-old was the driver. And then, then the other two people was the 18-year-old, two 18-year-olds and a 19-year-old. You understand? Two of them was chicks. So maybe he was trying to, you know, uh, feel better about himself. Anyway, the cop fired twice as he was being dragged two and a half blocks. When he finally fell free from the Civic, he was like on 53rd Street, and uh, they rushed him to Kings County Hospital. Kings County Hospital is a good hospital, by the way, y'all. That's the, like the main hospital in Brooklyn, because you know Brooklyn is King, Kings County. So um, that's what's going on with that. Um, oh, and dude that was the actual police officer, this guy has been wanting to be a police officer since he was a kid. They said since he was like 9, 10 years old. So this could have been one of those situations where he was like... Dude from Die Hard, you know what I'm saying? And this goes to show those Die Hard movies are fake. So we're gonna give him an we're gonna applaud him for going doing his due diligence on his job. But at the same time, my dude, you know, it was just a stolen car. You could have wrote down the plates and then had the kid stop somewhere. You didn't have to, you know, put yourself in jeopardy. You firing wild while the car's driving. You could have hit a civilian on the side of the street just by ricochet. Well, not ricochet, but just by you know, not being able to aim due to the, due to how the, you know, you was probably shaking or, or being dragged or whatever the case was. You know, uh, this is a situation where you want to applaud the police officer, but at the same time, you got to say, there's a reason why when uh, the police are chasing you and you go into a highly populated area or where there's schools and things and such, they give you room, they back up off you some so civilians can't be injured. Like, that's what they do. So as much as I want to applaud homeboy for, you know, doing, it was a car. You know, you could have, there's freaking cameras everywhere. It was a car. It was a stolen car. You could have, you could have called somebody. You could have called that in. No, you didn't have to be like, you know, McLean from Die Hard. You could have called that in. Seriously. You know, uh, as, as much as they want to make this dude a hero, at the end of the day, there's a reason why there's protocol. And, you know, uh, he could have fired into the car and killed one of the, killed one of them little kids one of them young kids for a stolen car. Not because they was trying to, you know, uh, not because they were trying to harm other people, but because they were stupid. He could have killed them because they were stupid. That's it. These guys, because they, they were stupid. They could have just died because he, they were stupid and he was a hero. He needed to call that in, period. They like he shouldn't be getting the medal. I know they want to talk about homeboy getting the medal. He's a black dude, by the way. You you understand what I'm saying? So just so y'all understand, when I'm reporting over here, I don't. I'm not. I'm not biased. 
I'm also not biased against the police. I understand that they have a job to do. Don't get me wrong. But what I'm saying is, is that you call that in, they don't even know. They don't even know anybody looking out for them. You understand what I'm saying? You call that in, you get that handled the appropriate way. Somebody could have got hurt. The, the kid's dragging you, so he driving crazy, right? I'm assuming. He ain't stopping at no stoplights. You firing your gun. I'm pretty sure he ain't stopping at no stoplights, no stop signs. He could have ran over some, 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 somebody in the freaking crosswalk pushing a kid across the street. He could have hit a blind man or something. A blind woman. A blind dog. Anybody could have been hit that couldn't see what was happening. You understand what I'm saying? So, uh, we, we gonna hope everybody gets taken care of. You know, uh, obviously everybody seems to have survived. So, uh, let me know what y'all think about this. I think dude should have caught this in. I think that him trying to be freaking, um, John McClane, you know, it, it, any, it, something could have happened bad to some innocent bystander. And that's absolutely not a job of a police officer. You, you understand? Like, I know everybody thinks police officers are supposed to be jumping from balcony to balcony to catch criminals and all types of crazy shit like that. That's movie shit. That's not real life shit. You call it in. You got to... Take everybody's concern, be concerned about everybody's life, especially the civilian that has nothing to do with the particular situation. That's why you're not supposed to just fire wildly across the street at people that you know have guns. You understand? That's why when you're chasing an assailant, you're not supposed to be firing wildly at the assailant while you're running behind him by 30 yards or whatever the case might be. This is why you don't do that. Because you don't want to cause harm or put other people in danger that have absolutely nothing to do with the situation and they're just civilians. So, um, let me know what y'all think about this. Because I think that he overstepped his boundaries, personally. I think that, uh, he put his own life, the life of the kids that was in the, idiots that was in the car in danger, his own life in danger. And he also put everybody that was in the area in danger. I don't think he should be reprimanded as much as, I just don't think that he deserved to get any awards. They need to give him his time off, paid leave... Paid leave now. Paid leave. He did, you know, paid leave. And then, you know, allow him all the time he needs to recover. But but beyond that, I don't think they should be giving him anything. I don't, I don't think he deserves anything. He put people's lives in jeopardy. Anyway, leave the comments down below. I want to know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, man. I'm, I'm, seriously, I'm not even at a thousand. Y'all fucking with me, right? All right. I'm going to holler at y'all later because that's all I got. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.